This is a video tutorial by Chris W500 and I'll be teaching you how to make your Windows XP computer run a lot faster and how to clean up your hard disk space. To start off with, I want you to go to start, select run, and then type msconfig. Select OK. And then you should get the system configuration utility. And then I want you to ignore everything but the services and the startup items. The services and startup items are the programs that are starting up with your computer. And sometimes these programs are unnecessary. And what you can do is just go through this list here. Go through this list and check and uncheck the ones you don't want. So if you don't want it, uncheck it. If you want it, check it. And then all you have to do is select apply. Now what do I do if I find a process, if I find a service and I don't know what it is? Well, all you have to do is go to start, select run, type services.msc like that select OK and you should get a similar box that says services and then when you select the service you should get a, you should get a description on the left of what the service does and you can just select them and get a description but what happens is you get a really crappy description like this one how do I get a better description well I recommend that you go to Google for more information I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Windows XP Services. Do a Google search. Windows XP Services. Uh, my favorite one is the eldergeek.com. Select Services Guide for XP. And then I'm just going to scroll over and then scroll down. And then you should see a list of services. And you can do this next part in any uh, when you're in any website that uh, you want to go to a particular word and for or phrase and uh, you have to have Firefox for this I think it might work on Internet Explorer and other browsers but it may be it may work a little different but in Firefox just hold control down and press F and you should get the find box you can also go out to edit find it's right here and what you're going to do is type in whatever you're looking for so I'm going to look for the computer browser service so I'm going to type in computer browser and it brings me to the computer browser service so I'm just going to select it and then I'm just going to scroll down and it gives me information for XP home and it gives me information for XP pro and it gives me a description like this right here and it has recommended setting which is automatic and it says is the service needed possibly so you can just go through these and search for the service you're looking for and to set it up to automatic, all you have to do is go to um, your services here and then just say right click, properties, and under startup type, you can select this arrow and you can select whatever. And I'm going to go apply and OK. Next, I want you to go to startup. And under startup, you're going to see a list of intimidating, <laughs> intimidating startup names. And uh, this you will likely have to go to Google for. Um, this is the exact same thing pretty much as the services. Uh, just check the ones you want, uncheck the ones you don't want, and say apply. And again, if you don't know what it is, we just go to Google. And I'm going to go to Google, and um, I'm going to look up the HKCMD, the HKCMD, um, actually we'll do AVG tray. I'm going to, going to look up the AVG tray uh, pro process. And uh, this is a little bit different. I'm just going to actually type in the process name. So I'm going to type in AVG tray into Google, Google search, select the first result, but there's tons of different ones. But I know this one has good information on it. And it said it belongs to AVG Internet Security. So I know this is for my internet security. So that's what's really useful. You can just check and see if you need the process or not. So it's really handy and I recommend you do it so you don't accidentally disable something that you need. And then when you're done, all you do is you say apply and then close. And then you ask to restart your computer for the settings to take effect. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to clean up your hard disk space using two easy to download freeware programs. They're very small in file size, simple to download, simple to use, and they're awesome programs. I'm going to start off with CCleaner. I'm just going to go Google and I'm going to type in CCleaner. C cleaner and I'm going to select download should be the first result 
I'm going to go to down here, download it from File Hippo, and I'm going to say download latest version, and then, then you should be able to download it. I'm just going to save the file to my desktop. I've already saved it, so then all you have to do is just go to the installation icon, double click it, and install it. Then you got CCleaner installed, you can just double click it, it comes up like that. And I recommend you check all these options. I recommend you check them all. And uh, this is under Windows tab. You can go to the Applications tab. And again, I recommend checking them all. And then you can just go to Run Cleaner right here. Run Cleaner. And it should scan your computer and clean it. I also recommend doing a registry scan. Select Registry here. And then uh, make sure they're all checked and say Scan for Issues. And then you can say fix selected issues. And make sure they're all selected here when they come up. And you can do a registry backup. It'll ask you. Uh, you don't have to, but you can if you want. Next, I'm going to be talking to you about Cleanup. Cleanup is another um, awesome program you can download. I recommend you use both. can't remember if I mentioned it. I recommend that you have both installed on your computer and you run them both at the same time. Well, run one and then run the other. And I recommend you run these regularly, like daily, to be sure your computer is clean because it does clean your web history and all that. So I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to type cleanup. And I'm going to do a Google search and I'm going to download it from stephengold.org. Select the first result. I'm going to select download and download the latest version. In this case, it's 4.5.2. So if there's a newer version out, select that one. And I'm just going to select this link right here. It's a little hidden. And you should be able to download it and save it to your desktop. And I've already saved it, so I'm just going to cancel. And you can just double click the installer. Whoops. Double click the installer and install it. Then you got it installed, we just double click it. And you can go to options. And I recommend selecting all of these. There's through cleanup, standard, basic, custom. You can select one. You can move it with this little bar thing. And then, um, yeah, I recommend disabling the sounds because it's a toilet flushing sound. And, yeah, I have write log file uh, not selected. And OK. And you can clean up. If it asks you to run it in demonstration mode, you can say yes. But I recommend saying no. It doesn't really matter. It's just a waste of time. And that's about it. Just run cleanup. Select this cleanup box right here. I forgot to mention that one more thing you can do to clean up your or to make your computer run faster, to make Windows XP run faster, is go to My Computer, right click and say Properties, go to Advanced, and under Performance, select Settings, and make sure you select Adjust for Best Performance. This will uncheck all of these right here, and this just uh, disables a bunch of special effects and things that make your computer look fancy but are not really necessary. Uh, this will really only be noticed, uh, the speed increase will only really be noticed on slow machines. I like the old classic style better, and it does give you the old classic skin for the, from, old, from the old Windows, but uh, it does make your computer run faster if it's a slower computer. And then uh, you can go apply, OK, and OK. And doing so does not give you the old start menu, though. It doesn't give you the old classic start menu. If you want the old classic start menu, you have to go to the um, taskbar here. Right click, go properties, start menu, and select classic start menu, and apply it. And OK. This has been a video tutorial by Chris W 500 Thanks for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm always updating my content, so please subscribe to my videos if you like them. And please rate and comment as that